What's up everyone, I'm Dr. Jacob Wilson and welcome back to our primer series. Today we're gonna to be talking about protein types. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that like button right now because there's a lot of really cool information that we're gonna be giving you. So let's talk about protein types. What does that mean? So I'm gonna segment this into a couple different things, but I'm gonna start off with complete proteins versus incomplete protein. In our bodies, we have essential and non-essential amino acids. Essential amino acids are what we have to get through diet. So a protein is complete if it has all the essential amino acids. So let's analyze this across the board. We're gonna break this up into dairy proteins, we're gonna break this up into meat-based proteins, and we're gonna break this up into uh, vegetarian-based sources. Studies show that complete proteins result in more muscle gain and greater body fat reduction than incomplete proteins. In fact, some studies show you gain fat on incomplete protein. Let's start with dairy-based proteins. That is casein and that's whey. Both of those are complete proteins. Whey protein's a fast digesting protein source. You can have it before you work out, after you work out. Casein's a slower digesting protein source. Consume it more before bed, but not after you work out. Both of them will make you grow. Studies seem to show whey makes you grow more. Meat-based proteins, also complete proteins. You have steak, you have chicken, you have fish. If you are eating carbohydrates, make sure you stick with the leaner sources, 90% lean. If you are on a low carbohydrate diet, it doesn't really matter. You can have the higher fat sources, for example, 80-20 beef. But again, just like whey versus casein, what you consume matters. So if you're closer to a workout, consume the leaner choices, even if you're lower carb. If you're further away from the workout, even if you're keto, consume the fattier sources because you want more faster digestion around the workout. And then finally, let's talk about vegetarian-based sources. For the most part, they're incomplete proteins, so they're not gonna make you grow as much. If you are a vegan and you can't have meat and you can't have dairy, here's what I recommend. Two things, number one, you need to have a higher amount of protein, so basically you're gonna consume 30 to 50 grams of protein per serving of vegan-based sources, or if you're only gonna consume 20 to 30 grams, you need to supplement that with essential amino acids. Thank you so much, guys, see you next time.